Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about JavaScript functions. So first of all, we have to understand what are functions. Functions are sub programs or a individual set of statements which can be executed from external code. So in JavaScript, functions are the first class objects. It means that they can have properties and methods just like other normal JavaScript objects. So as I've already told you that functions are objects in JavaScript. So with that, we can infer that they can have some kind of prototypical chain as well, right? And in fact, they do. So what is that chain? Let's have a look. So every function is of type function. Okay. And that function actually inherits most of the properties from this function dot prototype and which in turn is inheriting all of the properties from object dot prototype which is the base object for all of the objects in javascript right so we have got this new thing between our normal hierarchy of objects right so that is something you need to know to understand how uh, inheritance works in in case of functions so i thought that it would be a good idea uh, to show you some kind of pictorial representation right let's start the hands-on training okay for that we are going to launch our favorite tool node okay terminal node and we are into node okay so let's define a simplest possible function and that would be var my fun equals to function brackets okay so what is happening here i have defined a new variable which is going to contain the reference to this anonymous function and what this function is doing it is taking no arguments and it is doing nothing in its body. These brackets represent the arguments we have to pass to this function and these curly brackets represent the block of the statements which are going to be the body of this function. Okay, so there are no arguments being transferred to the body and there is nothing in our body so let's press enter and that is it now if you want to call this function we have to simply write my fun and brackets right so this is how you create functions in javascript right but as you can see uh, this function is kind of stupid it is not doing anything useful for us so let's define a function which can actually do something for us so how about defining a function which can add multiple numbers and produces the sum of all of the numbers we have passed to that function. Before that, you should understand that function contains these two properties. Okay, every function contains these two properties. These two things will always be available inside the body of every function you define. So, argument is an array which contains all of the things which you pass inside these brackets and this thing is kind of tricky because it contains the context with which the function is called and we are going to talk more about this keyword in one of my later videos so make sure you subscribe to this channel so now let's quickly write a adder function which adds all the numbers we are going to provide to it so to do that i am going to launch my text editor and quickly write the code because I'm not very good at typing commands in node because I sometimes mess up and I have to repeat all of the commands. So it's better to do everything in a text editor and then copy paste and everything in node.js and there are ways to load files uh, which I will be telling you uh, in my later videos. But as of now we are going to do it in a manual way. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to press it. Okay, so this is a function. We are going to create so a simple declaration of a function okay 
then we are going to define variables and what we are doing here is that uh, we are going to use our arguments array which is always available inside the body of our function and we are going to iterate over that array and we are going to add all of the members of this array to our variable sum which is zero before the start of this loop okay and in the end we are going to return sum as a result of this function now every function returns some kind of values if you are not going to provide any kind of return statement it is going to return undefined by default which is happening here okay so let's just copy paste everything copy and paste it here okay so that's how we have defined our adder function and let's quickly test it as well so adder and now we are going to provide a comma separated argument list to this function and let's see what happens so it has produced this result 18 if you are going to add all of these numbers the result will be 18 as produced by our adder function okay so now you know how to define a simple function for you there is one other notation to define function and which is function your function name your argument and the body of the function so let's do it console log hi so this is the thing which i've told you just for the sake of completion so that you know that there are other ways to define functions as well let's try to call this function fun. and as you can see that it has printed this high value to the console and it has returned undefined because we have not provided any kind of return statement to this function remember i told you that functions are first class object in javascript what it actually means is also that we can pass around functions as argument to other functions and we can even return functions as a result of any functions okay so let's have a look of what i am talking about so we are going to launch our text editor and i am going to design a function applier which is going to apply this first argument which in turn is also a function to this second argument which will be a number okay so we are going to return the application of fn to n okay so this will be our applier function now let's create two implementations of fn which we are going to provide as an argument to our applier function let's suppose we want to calculate the square square function and we are going to provide one number argument and we are going to return number into n and that is it okay and let's create one other and this function is going to have our provided argument okay so these are our two implementations let's quickly copy this thing and paste it into our node so as you can see that okay everything is fine as of now no errors were generated so how are we going to use our applier function now let's suppose we have a number eight and we want to calculate the square of that number so in that case we are going to call applier and we are going to pass square as the implementation of our fn and we are going to pass 8 as the other argument and as you can see 
that it has calculated 64 as an answer because this square function is applied to 8 and it has produced 64 as a result okay now let's suppose we want to halve this number so we can call applier here as well but we just had to swap out a square with a half a function okay so we are going to call half a along with 8 and as you can see that half hour has successfully half the number 8 and produced 4 as a result okay so this is how you can pass around functions just like normal objects in JavaScript now this is just like scratching the surface as far as functions are concerned in JavaScript because functions are a lot more capable than this and we are going to learn many things about functions in the later videos so make sure you subscribe to this channel and in one of my later videos I will be talking more about this context of a function and how it actually changes depending on the way you are calling a function so with that i am signing off and i hope that you uh, are able to design functions now in javascript and if you have any kind of doubt regarding the material here you can always leave a comment and i will try my level best to get back to you and rectify all of your doubts and address your queries thank you all for watching and this is your guy rajat from rajatstudio.com signing off